Talon Professional Accountability Program is a hospital-wide program aimed to make sure that we as a hospital are performing at the most professional standard that we can because that is good for both our staff and our patients. It's a really lovely way of supporting our colleagues to hold each other to account and to be held accountable for our behaviours. Well, we know that big organisations and healthcare organisations are places which are sometimes difficult to navigate. We have high degrees of diversity, cultural, ethnic, gender, age in our workforce. What they need is to feel safe providing that extra piece of information or challenging a particular behaviour which is not contributing to a culture of safety. No one gets up in the morning and says, I'm going to go to work and be a jerk and be rude to my colleagues. It happens because we're under stress, maybe personal things or health issues in our lives come and interfere and, and prevent from time to time us from being the best that we can be. It's very difficult to call someone to account or to be called to account yourself. What really struck me was that most people are doing a really good job all the time. And sometimes to have the opportunity to realise that can actually have a negative impact on people that they're working with and in terms um, a negative impact on patient care. A cup of coffee conversation is this casual conversation that is designed uh, to be delivered by a peer, uh, by one of our colleagues, that actually is an awareness conversation to allow that person to gain an insight as to what their behaviour has been, how they've been perceived, and allow them to reflect upon that and actually uh, adapt uh, their behaviours for the future. It's about really saying, hey, I'm not sure that you're aware of this, but there's something happening that you need to be aware of. Have a coffee. The other thing that we know about the cup of coffee conversation is it's a short conversation. I'm just really providing you with some feedback about the reported behaviour. I'm not here to solve the problem. I'm not here to discuss it with you. I'm not here to defend the programme or to, you know, try and understand specifically what was happening on that day. I'm just up here providing you with the feedback and leaving you with it. Rolling out this program means that on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, people will be able to give feedback but also receive feedback to improve their own professionalism. It's really about helping our colleagues be the best we can be, being helped ourselves to be the best we can be, and even on our bad days to know that the behaviours that we're displaying, the relationships that we have in our workplace, continue to grow and um, deepen in a really positive way. Being able to be a trainee and have a program or a tool like this to help improve the culture, I think is going to improve our retention rates, it's going to improve our well-being, it's going to reduce our stress in the workplace, and just generally it's going to help um, more and more cultivate that environment for good quality patient care and great quality training for, for us as trainee medical officers. Uh, we as an organisation, you know, are focused on outcomes for our patients. The drawing of the relationship between better behaviours, you know, I couch it in positive terms rather than poor behaviours, better behaviours and better patient outcomes makes this a better place to work. Yeah.